What up, guys? This is Kibo Cars. Back again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on IDARB. It stands for It Draws a Red Box. The name references the beginning of the development. The development of the game all started by drawing a red box. Now, most people have played this game because once upon a time, it was free with the Games With Gold in February of 2014. So if you've had Games With Gold for a while, more than likely you have the game because you got it free with Games With Gold. If not, you may have played it while it was on Xbox Game Pass. However, it just got removed from Xbox Game Pass. So if you don't happen to have it free with gold, then you are going to have to purchase it. It is $14.99 at full price. It's published and developed by Other Ocean Interactive, and it's an easy one to two hour completion. Now, the time this takes to complete, it's really going to depend on how long it takes you to find a boosting partner because there is one online achievement. We have to basically jump on somebody's head to stun them uh, 25 times in an online match. This is super easy if you boost with somebody. You can boost it and get it in like about a minute or two minutes by just jumping on their head 25 times to stun them. Now, if you're here because you need a boosting partner, leave your gamer tag in the comments below and I'm sure somebody will help you out or you can find somebody to boost with. Now, first thing we want to do is go to teams and tools. There's a couple of achievements related to creating characters, logos and songs. We have to create 20 of each. For the characters, you can simply press the plus sign 20 times and you'll create 20 characters pretty quickly. That will pop our first achievement for 75 gamer score called Just Like Having a Baby for creating 20 custom characters. After that, we can go ahead and press B, and then we want to go over to the logos next. We can go ahead and create a very simple logo by pressing A on the first dot in the grid just to make a black dot, and then we can save that logo. We're going to need to do this 20 different times to create 20 different logos. This is going to trigger the represent achievement for 75 gamer score for creating 20 or more logos. And next we're going to be working on getting the achievement for creating 20 songs. So go ahead and press songs, press new song, and you can just press start to save it right away. Go ahead and save it as the default name, which would be song number one and then song number two. You're going to do that all the way until you get to song number 20. It took a while for mine to pop. I ended up creating like 25 songs by the time my achievement popped. That's the regular Mozart achievement for 75 gamer score for creating 20 custom songs. So now that we got those achievements knocked out for the 20 creations of each category, now we still have an achievement related to each of those categories, but this time we need to download 10 custom songs, 10 custom logos, and 10 custom characters. To download them, we can simply upload any of ours and then just download it 10 times. So we need to go into each category and make sure that we upload one character, one song, and one logo. And then we're going to go and download each of those 10 times to trigger all three achievements. Now, the first achievement it's going to trigger is the Identity Theft Achievement for 75 Gamer Score for importing 10 or more characters. Again, just upload one of your characters and download it 10 times. We're going to do the same thing for the logos. That's going to trigger our next achievement, also worth 75 gamer score. This one's called the Corporate Art Collector for importing 10 or more logos via the trading post. We're going to rinse and repeat this one more time, except for the songs category. And once we have downloaded 10 different songs, we're going to get our third achievement in this category and that's going to be worth another 75 gamer score called Sharing is Caring for importing 10 or more songs via the trading post. Now that we got that knocked out of the way, what we're going to do is get our last achievement related to the customization or creation. And what we need to do is create eight different teams. You can go down to add new team and what you want to do is fill all of those teams uh, at max slots. So you want to add eight characters to each team. So create a new team and then add eight people. That's going to give it a full roster. And then after that, um, you wanna press start on your team and then you'll be able to select a song and a logo for your team. So make sure that you create 10 of these teams total. So you have 10 teams with eight characters on each team. 
and a song and logo assigned to each of those teams. After you've done this 10 times, you're going to get your achievement for 125 gamer score called Team Spirit for creating 10 or more customized teams with 8 plus characters, a logo, and a song assigned. Alright guys, so that takes care of all of the achievements related to customization. Next, we're going to be going for an achievement for scoring a 15 point shot. To do this, we're going to have to bounce the ball off of two walls and then into the goal. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this one. Just make sure you start up a game with no opponents and nobody on your team just to make it nice and easy. That way you're not competing with anybody trying to take the ball away from you. And that's pretty much how you want to shoot the shot, guys. I recommend shooting it from where I was shooting it from. Feel free to rewind and pause it. And you just want to aim it up at the upper right-hand platform to bounce off the roof, off the floor, into the goal. And that will give you a 15-point shot. The achievement was a little bit delayed. Eventually, it should pop as long as you get that 15-pointer. That one is worth 100 gamer score, and that's the Boom Goes the Dynamite achievement. Next, we're going to be going for the Alley-Oop achievement. Some recommend that you use two controllers for this. However, I found that it's really difficult trying to control two controllers as one human. If you have somebody, maybe like a friend, roommate, family member that can help you out, that'll make the alley-oop achievement even easier. Otherwise, if you're trying to do this by yourself solo, I recommend just starting up a game with you and one ally. So put one CPU on your team and don't put anybody on the opposite team. Eventually, the CPU will pass it to you. Just keep jumping in front of the goal and they'll pass it to you for an alley-oop. Just catch that alley-oop and shoot it in and that's going to give you your achievement for 100 gamer score. I found that that was much easier than doing the two controller method. Next, we're going to be going for the online achievement for stunning an enemy 25 times online. Big shouts out to Demented Squire 7 for helping me out with this achievement. That's going to be the easiest and fastest way to get this achievement, guys, is to boost it. So if you're looking for some help, leave your gamer tag in the comments below. Make sure that you have your notifications on for your YouTube app. And I'm sure that eventually somebody willing to boost with you online will reply to your comment and you'll be good to go. Also, you can always look for boosting partners in the Chivo Clan Xbox Club. So yeah, once you find yourself a boosting partner, all you want to do is join or start a private match. Once you're in a private match, you can just go ahead and jump on them. You need to press down and A to stun them. So just jump over them, press down and A. You'll know if they are stunned because they'll have a yellow icon floating above their head. You need to do this 25 times and eventually your achievement is going to pop. It's worth 100 gamer score. This one's called Dizzy Dealer. Again, if you're looking for a boosting partner, you can look in the comments below. There might be somebody looking for one as well that you can match up with and hopefully you guys can help each other out. Other than that, we do have a secret achievement in this game. This one is for scoring 42 points. So just start up a quick game. Don't put anybody on the opposing team. Just put you in the game by yourself because once again, then you don't have to compete with anybody in getting that ball. So just get the ball, keep scoring. Every time you score a regular shot, you get two points. If you score from a farther distance, you get three points. Just make sure that you're evening out the points so that eventually you can get 42 points on the dot. Once you have 42 points, you can stop playing the game. And after four rounds, the time will expire and the game will end with 42 points at which you will unlock your secret achievement. That is the deep thought achievement for 100 gamer score. And now our final achievement, the over the air achiever achievement. This one's only worth 25 gamer score and this happens to be the achievement that the people have most trouble with. So there's actually two ways to get this and both ways are really, really creative. Shouts out to Carnage. He has a super detailed guide on true achievements on how to get this achievement. In this video guide, I'm just gonna be showing you guys the method that worked for me. In his solution, he goes over two different methods. The first one being Twitch and the second being Twitter. Now, I found that the Twitter method didn't work for me. Um, I tried it exactly how it was explained or instructed and it just wouldn't unlock for me. But then again, I also seen that people were also having the same issue with the Twitter method. So when I tried the Twitch method, it worked on the first try, guys. So I know you're thinking Twitch, maybe you don't use Twitch or you don't even know what it is. It may sound intimidating. It's actually really easy. You are going to have to sign up for a free Twitch account. But basically what we're going to do is 
First things first, you have to download Twitch off of the Microsoft Store. Once you download it, you want to register for a Twitch account. Once you have a Twitch account, you want to go to Broadcast, and you want to go down to the game title, and you want to type in iDARB. After you do that, you can go to Start Streaming, and then we can go ahead and press the Guide button and switch back over to iDARB. At this point, we're going to be streaming the game on Twitch. Now, what you want to do is start up a local play game. But first, you want to go to Options and make sure that Twitch settings say Chat with Hash Bombs. After that, you want to go to Set Twitch Channel and type in your username for Twitch. You need to make sure that you type it in exactly how it is on Twitch. After that, you're going to go to Start Game. We're going to start a local game. No opponents, no allies, just us in the game. If you set this up correctly, it will show live on the upper right hand side. That shows that you are streaming live on Twitch. So now you can get your phone, you can go to your Twitch app or Twitch on the browser. You want to go to your stream and then you want to comment on your stream hashtag achievement. Once this hashtag is commented on your live stream, this is going to summon the achievement bot which is going to trigger our last and final achievement for the game. This is the over the air achiever achievement for 25 gamer score for summoning the achievement bot. As always guys, I appreciate you tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.